Hi. It's beginning to feel a lot like 1966 and beyond. England, amazingly, are doing well at football and could be playing a final on the hallowed turf at Wembley. Starmer's by British sounds a bit familiar to I'm back in Britain, the George Cross awarded to the NHF. There's an increasing fervour as England come within grasp of a major trophy. Manic flag waving, consequent patriotic outpourings will only buttress our decaying feudal capitalist system in the UK. The middle classes are embracing football big style. Tickets will be changing hands for vast sums. Being, thankfully, a mostly unreligious country, football has filled that emotional void. What is negative about the resurgence of the national team, to my somewhat cynical anarcho-malcontent perspective, is how it reinforces System UK, monarchy, the summit of our feudal capitalist hierarchy. It's no coincidence that Prince, Philip, Prince, Philip, Prince William has a senior position in the FA. Hearing that hideous dirge, God Save the Queen, bellowed out prior to kickoff during the game is not the best of experiences. Sweet Caroline would be far preferable. The government will definitely attempt to identify with a victory, an opportunity they certainly won't miss. The sight of Johnson jumping up and down in front of the TV screen, hollering, yes, as England scored against Germany, was to me unconvincing. His type of a rugby or cricket. These days, every politician claims allegiance to a football team, pretending lifelong support. Like it or not, victory will benefit the ruling party. MBEs all around would just about say it all and consolidate the ruling and fooling class. Then, onward to the World Cup and the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. As immiseration, procurity, impoverishment continue against the consolidation of our one party electoral state. Bye.